Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel and this is my first impressions look on the Nike LeBron Witness 5. So of course this is LeBron's budget shoe. Not uh, yeah, I guess this is like his most budget shoe, right? So uh, this is going for a hundred bucks, and of course LeBron has his ambassador line, which is kind of like overseas. He has his soldier line, and then he has his actual signature shoe line. And I don't know, like I feel like budget shoes are kind of like a scam. You know what I'm saying? Because the signature athletes never wear them. You know the witness line, LeBron like never wears it, or I, I, like I don't really remember. Like I, I feel like he wears it sometimes in practice, but like in actual games he doesn't wear it. And then like Kyrie never really wears the fly traps. Or actually no, he, I feel like he's worn it a couple of times, but never really in like in game. And like KD never wears his tray, <laughs> KD tray line. I don't think, you know. So uh, it's not really it's, it's their shoe, but not really. It's kind of just like branding, and it's like oh this is still like LeBron shoe, and, and Nike's trying to sell it to us. You know what I'm saying? And kind of like mark up the price a little bit. Anyways, that's just a little bit of a rant. But yeah, if you guys do want to get it, I'll leave a link in the description box. This is a dope-ass colorway. Basically a Lakers colorway, right? But yeah, let's get started off with the Tracciones. And the Tracciones is very, very similar to the LeBron 17. You know, you basically got a net of lines, kind of, that go parallel to the actual shoe. And I guess perpendicular to lateral movements, which is good. We have a solid rubber outsole. And it's, I like this color. It's like a very deep deep dark purple and the rubber seems I don't know like it seems kind of hard like the rubber when you feel it seems hard right but then the grooves are pretty thin so the rubber moves pretty easily so I don't really know how durability is going to be on that of course I'm going to be playing outdoors I did try it on my wood floors there's absolutely no squeak but it seems to have a pretty good bite So uh, there's something going for it, right? Here in the middle of the outsole, we got LeBron James's logo, and it says "Strive for Greatness," and uh, I believe these are his initials for his kids. So that's a nice little touch there. Moving on to the heel to toe transition, it's insane in the shoe, guys. So here in the heel, we have a nice curved shape, right? So that feels pretty damn nice. Here in the forefoot. It's actually insane. It kind of reminds me of the LeBron 16, you know. So we have these zoom units that protrude out, right? But not only that, you guys see how freaking curved that is? Look at how much it curves up. Look at that. It's insane. So uh, what, when you're kind of like on your toes and kind of like walking, it like propels you forward and you kind of like want to walk on your toes. And that feels really good. I actually really like how that feels. And also you have a, a good amount of forefoot flex. It's still a little stiff, but then it is articulated here. So uh, heel to toe transition seems pretty damn awesome in this shoe. I really like it and you have a good amount of heel compression so here in this shoe they're using a phylon foam but then it's actually like pretty nice it protrudes out a little bit here in the heel and that helps to compress the heel and it feels pretty nice it compresses it's there seems to be a nice little rebound to it as well and then of course here in the forefoot we got zoom pods we actually got two zoom pods here in the forefoot and uh it's okay i mean I, I i can definitely feel the one here on the lateral side a little bit more here on the on the medial side it's a little bit harder to feel but that's just me walking around in it uh hopefully i can feel it a little bit more once i play in it and break it in but as you guys know this is a bottom loaded zoom unit so it's probably not going to be anything crazy as far as like underneath your foot sensation but i feel like it'll help with like propelling you forward as far as like giving you that bouncy sensation you know so the overall cushion especially for only a hundred bucks is actually not that bad and i don't like how nike makes phylon i just like their foams not equal you know what i'm saying like there's some shoes that have like really soft and nice like foams and some shoes have really stiff crappy foam and nike calls it all phylon so like how are we supposed to know if it's gonna be nice or not you know what i'm saying but anyways in this shoe it feels pretty damn nice court feel seems pretty good i feel like impact protection is gonna be good and then the forefoot zooming it is gonna probably gonna give you a little bit of bounce all right moving on to the materials 
So here in the forefoot, it's actually pretty damn nice. I like it. It's a mesh material. I like the way it looks. It looks very well ventilated. It's super thin. It's paper thin. And it feels super minimal on foot. Also conforms your foot very, very well. You have a little bit of fuse here on the medial side at the tip of the toe for extra added durability. And then here in the ankle area, we have a really crappy synthetic material. <laughs> but you never really feel that on your foot. You feel more the lining and also the padding here in the ankle area, so it's not a huge deal. I mean, it definitely does look cheap, you know? Uh, I feel like they use like a little bit better quality materials here in the ankle. The shoe wouldn't even look that budget, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but anyways, yeah, the, the, the materials here are terrible here in the ankle, and then here it, all the way in the back of the heel, I don't know what this is. It looks kind of like a face, you know? This looks like a nose. If you kind of like draw eyes here, it <laughs> kind of looks like a face, you know? It doesn't do anything either. It's like a plastic piece. It's not like a pole tab or anything. You already have a, a very large heel tab, so uh, I don't know what that's for. It's probably just for design purposes. As far as the swoosh goes, we have a large swoosh here on the lateral side and it's gold, which is pretty cool. And then on the medial side, we have a smaller swoosh on the ankle as well. For the lining, it's like a soft fleece-like material. It feels pretty nice. The tongue has minimal padding and then the ankle area, there is a little bit of padding. So. Uh, the materials, I mean, it's, it's obviously for quality, it's a $100 shoe. You're not going to get very good quality materials, but I really like this mesh material here in the forefoot. Also, we have some fly wire for eyelets. They're not independent though, it doesn't feel like. And it doesn't really feel like the fly wire comes down all the way into the material, you know? It feels like this wire is just probably like stitched down right here. But you know, that's not a huge deal. I also really like the way it looks. We have kind of like an independent tongue, but not really. Uh, it's attached to basically basically this mesh material. So it's basically like a half booty construction. And as far as the fit goes, I went true to size and it fits me very, very well. You know, uh, lengthwise, I was, it was perfect. Widthwise, I would say it's slightly narrow, but I feel like this mesh material is going to stretch out. And uh, here in the toe box area, it, there's really no dead space or anything. Uh, and coming into the midfoot, it's also pretty damn snug. So I really like how it fits and it's pretty damn easy to put on as well. As for the support and lockdown though, Okay, I don't know how this is going to feel because this mesh material is just so thin and there's really nothing caging you here in the forefoot on the lateral side. Here in the heel, of course, you have an internal TPU heel counter, but here in the midfoot, I, I guess like the foam comes up a little bit, but I don't really think that's going to be like that good. And like I said, here in the forefoot, that does worry me. Uh, as for an outrigger, there's not really an act. There's just a baby one kind of here on the out outside of the zoom unit. But lateral stability seems pretty good. And of course, it is a low cut shoe, but then it does come up kind of high, like kind of in front of your ankle bone. So that helps a little bit with ankle movement restriction. But overall, support in lockdown has me a little bit worried. All right, as for the weight, it's probably going to be pretty light, right? So uh, budget shoes. Got that cheap light feel, 12.24 ounces, really? I thought it was gonna be like 11 point something, but 12.24 is lighter than average. Like a little bit lighter than that, I don't know. It like, it feels very, very light. And like I said, it has that cheap light feel. I feel like most of the weight is probably coming from the, uh, the like the outsole and like the zoom in and like all the plastic they're using. Uh, but anyways, yeah, it feels super light, very minimal on foot. Like I said, there's not a whole lot of padding either in this upper. So that's a good thing. Like LeBron's actual shoe, like his signature shoe, like the 17 and LeBron 18 is like freaking 15 ounces. So uh, that's that's pretty good, right? Uh, moving on to the aesthetics. I like it. A lot of you guys said it reminds you of the KD9 and uh, I would have to agree with you guys. It looks a lot like the KD9 and that's not a bad thing. And like I said, I especially like this colorway. Uh, so tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below. So uh, wrapping things up, my first impressions of the shoe are pretty nice. Uh, like I said, uh, the cushion feels nice. Traction, I feel like it's gonna be good. Materials, they feel solid on foot and very minimal. So I, I'm liking all of that so far. The only thing I'm worried about is I guess the support, like the lateral support here. And that's about it. So yeah, of course, performance review will be coming soon. Uh, but if you guys do want a cop, again, I'll leave a link in the description box. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.